Here we have the rat with his extremely nice Tuscan leather sweater. The problem with the rat wearing clothes is that he gets extremely itchy. We're about to take it off. I'm not certain on why the rat acts the way he does, but I do know that he indeed is 25% mealworm, 75% the rat. Get it, the rat. Get it. Get it. Oh, who is that? We got the good old rat on the longboard. And I figured today would be a really nice day to do some cinematics on the rat. I know you guys absolutely love seeing the rat. Figured some slow motion shots of this dog would be extremely funny. This way. This way, the rat. This, this way. This way, the rat. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. He's such a smart baby rat. What is up YouTube and welcome to another Crib Zone excursion. If you guys enjoyed this, that rat. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Welcome you guys. Thank you for joining Crib Zone excursion. We got some majestic footage. Crip, the rat! I figured I'd do a cinematic on the rat today. I've never done a cinematic video, so this will be my very first attempt. Short little cinematic video of the rat. doing a cinematic on him. Oh, okay. <laughs> right on. Right on. His name's not right. Look at this. Look at this. The rat. What a savage. We're about to climb that big ass hill. Look at that nice ass sunset. I can't really do cinematics. You do you, the rat. The most vicious tongue punches you guys will ever see are by Crypto. I taught him well. Notice the way he handles it. He holds it in place to make sure he could get the strongest lick force possible. Teasing the surrounding areas around him. Now he's spreading the plate around the floor. Who needs a dishwasher when you have a tongue puncher? And then here comes the rat wanting more food. <laughs> Is it a smart idea to raise a husky with one vicious and another extremely fruity dog? This dog has learned everything from the rat.
We got two main brushes here. We got the Furminator and this other one that's a no brand. This here Furminator is for a two-coated dog, which the Siberian Husky is. At the moment, Crypto is molting. Now would be a perfect time to use the Furminator. When you're grooming your dog, you want to start somewhere and go evenly all throughout the body. You don't want to rub too much on one spot or else you might bald the dog. How often should you groom a dog? There's two main seasons. Two times a year is completely fine. If your dog's an indoor dog, then you would have to groom your dog more if you're trying to keep fur out of the house. Two times a year should be more than enough if you're not worried about all the fur. I rarely groom crypto. When you do groom them properly, they do lose one whole layer of fur. I'm not that attracted to the way he looks. The weather isn't extremely hot here. That's not a problem. If you do live in hotter areas, grooming your dog and removing their undercoat is a really good option for them. Try and get a hold of all the fur. You don't want it flying everywhere. I've seen videos where they like blow dry a dog with like super hard pressure and it just takes off their whole undercoat. It's kind of crazy. Let's get this part of tons. Pretty easy to tell when a dog's tensing up. If their back fur from right here is sticking up, if their tail's all bougied up, they're trying to act dominant. Crypto is microchipped and he is registered now ever since he escaped and they caught him. I had to pay for that. I believe it was around $200. You want to take around five minutes in each area of their body. Start off with their neck. Even pressure, not too much pressure. Half-assed, groomed Siberian Husky. <laughs> now he still leaves a ton of shed when I pet him. Cause if you do go heavy on the grooming, you could make your dog hella skinny. And that looks pretty funny. Try and keep him at a nice even level. These dogs are always gonna shed no matter what. There are seasons where they shed way more. Just be aware of that. Do they shed a lot all the time? Not necessarily all the time, just during those two seasons. I'm just out here trying to mind my business and this dude just comes out. What is it, Crypto? What is it? <laughs> what the hell wrong with you? Here comes the rat. <laughs>